As a verbal altercation seemingly escalated, a man decided to spit in the face of a fellow subway rider. The subway spitter quickly learned that he had picked the wrong guy and it was all caught on video. Although the details are few, a video of a subway altercation has made its way around the World Wide Web, drawing attention every time it begins to circulate again. Appearing to show a man spitting on another subway rider not once, but twice, the footage captures the moment the subway spitter gets his comeuppance. It's safe to say that he'll likely think twice before ever doing it again. According to the New York Post, the incident took place at 34th Street in Manhattan, where a man spat in the face of a fellow strap hanger twice as the doors of the subway car closed. Thinking he was in the clear because his target was still on the train behind closed doors, the subway spitter casually remained on the platform after the attack, making no attempt to flee. He'd quickly learned that was the wrong move too. Much to the subway spitter's surprise, his victim was able to pry the doors to the train back open, and once he did, it was game on and game over for the spit-flinging suspect. Very quickly, all hell broke loose as the man who'd been spat on ran out onto the platform, went full hulk, and began pummeling his attacker, delivering countless blows to his head. First flew in a flurry, leaving the subway spitter unconscious according to the footage which was posted on multiple social media platforms, including Reddit and YouTube. He's livid, it's over, the person presumably filming the crash can be heard saying, referring to the man who'd been spat on. Other riders run to break up the fight, but the seemingly gleeful cameraman advises them to back off and let the brutal beating continue. Nah, nah, he spat in his face, he tells others. Allowed to continue to deliver his beat down uninterrupted, the victim quickly turned the tables, knocking the subway spitter out cold. With his target apparently unconscious and the number one train leaving the station, the counter assailant is then seen retrieving his phone off the ground and walking away, but not without screaming a few profanities at his foe, who's lying crumpled on the ground and not moving. It's unclear when the incident occurred or on which platform. Neither the MTA nor the NYPD responded to NY Post's request for comment, but that doesn't mean there's not a lesson to be learned here. Spitting on someone amounts to assault and quite often the target of such an attack will react the same way to being spit on as they would to being hit. You should also never underestimate your intended victim or overestimate the ability of a couple of moving doors to protect you. Obviously, that isn't to say that beating someone unconscious is the right response either. This guy seemed to dish out much more than what was needed to neutralize any threat, but after being spat on, he was obviously seeing red and unable to contain his anger. And many wouldn't blame him, since spitting on someone is one of the most cowardly and disgusting things one can do, especially when it's done in a moment where the attacker thinks there will be no recourse, like when the doors to the subway train are closing. Make no mistake, spitting is a violent act and is likely to cause a violent reaction, so before launching your saliva, you better be ready for the consequences. It's better to just walk away. I bet the guy on the ground wished he did. Spitting might not warrant being pummeled to the point of incapacitation, but many won't feel sorry for someone who brings on such a counterattack after deciding to do such a thing. I'd also bet the beating was effective, and the guy on the receiving end of it will think twice before ever spitting on someone again.